Today we're going to be doing a series of videos called Introduction to Assembly. It's from Chapter 2 of the AVR Microcontroller and Embedded Systems using Assembly in C book. Uh, you can visit Sepernami's website at nicerland.com. And these slides are being used with permission and they've been updated by myself, James Andrew Smith, at York University. All right, in terms of references, we have three. The textbook, um, which you can find references to and, um, and vendors at nicerland.com. There's the instruction set manual for the AVR series of microcontrollers, including the Atmega 328 that we're using here on the Arduino Uno board. And there's Compiler Explorer, which I really like using to better understand assembly and its relationship to higher level languages like C. All right, so we're gonna be taking a look at a number of things in these videos. This particular video is the high level to low level assembler introduction using C as a high level uh, programming language. We're effectively doing a behind the scenes look at what happens when you write programs in C. There'll be other videos uh, on the AVR's CPU, it's architecture, simple programs, as well as data memory access, program memory, and the RISC architecture, or architectures. We're going to start here with how we go from a C program into Assembler, and we're going to use a really handy website called Compiler Explorer, where you write your program in C or other languages on the left-hand side, and it gets converted on the right-hand side into the equivalent in Assembler based on what the compiler and the architecture want it to do. And here we can set what kind of architecture and what kind of compiler we want to use, in this case, the AVR series of processors using the GCC compiler version 11.1.0. All right, let's take a look at an example. So on the left-hand side, we're writing a program called square, and it's going to take a number and multiply it by itself and then return that value. And those numbers are an in integer uh, form. You can see on the left-hand side, we have the program in C. On the right-hand side, we have the equivalent that's been generated by the compiler in assembler. So the first line, line two of your C program, is the uh, prologue or the introduction of your function. And you can see it's highlighting in green on the left-hand side. And its conversion to assembler is found on the right-hand side. And you can see that there's some operations like push and in and and, and all of these things. We'll talk about what those mean later. But you can see that one line in C became many lines in assembler. Likewise, the epilogue or ending of your function goes from effectively just a curly brace on the left-hand side into a number of different operations on the right-hand side. We're gonna have to talk about why this is and what's going on, but effectively what's important to know is that's what's happening at the machine level of your processor or microcontroller. All right, let's take a look at what happens when you actually put something important inside of that function. So in this case, we're going to do the multiplication of one number versus another in order to have a squaring operation. And we're going to return that value. That's what's going on on line three of your C program on the left-hand side. So we can see again the prologue or introduction of the function is in green. Then what we just inserted right here is in yellow. That's lines uh, 12 through 18 in the assembler which is the conversion from line three in the C program on the left-hand side. Okay, we've got operations like uh, uh, moves and, and, uh, and that sort of thing in there. Then we have the epilogue, the ending, some pops, and then a ret, which means return. All right, there's a lot of things going on in there, and you'll find that in order to decipher and understand and analyze what's going on in Assembler, you're going to be taking a look at the instruction set manual. And these are available for all chips, basically, that are out there. In this case, this is a link right here, the bit.ly link, to the AVR instruction set manual because the Atmega 328 has the AVR architecture at its core. All right, so in that example that we had earlier, there was this uh, MOV business that was going on, that move operation. And what we're doing is we're moving um, information from one register to another, and registers have a designation of R. So we move from one, say, R18, into R24, that's move. So move R24, comma R18 means moving the information or data that's on R18 and putting it into R24. Likewise, move R25, comma R19 means take what's in R19 and move it into R25. In order to better understand what's actually going on here, what we're saying is, well, go into the uh, instruction set manual and take a look at 
what's said in there to better understand what that instruction truly is. Okay, let's take a look. Because you've probably done some Arduino programming before, let's take a look at what happens when you take an Arduino program and, and take a look at what's underneath the hood or uh, behind the scenes. So you might have a really bare bones program like this one, bare minimum from the Arduino IDE. Copy it over into Compiler Explorer. Set your Arduino Uno as the uh, compiler that we're going to be using. And then you can see that the uh, assembler is generated uh, on the right hand side. Okay. So here, here is a bit of a closer up view. The setup prologue is in green. You can see it's got two pushes and two ends right there. Then the epilogue for it is uh, no operation, then two pops and then a return. Then the loop function has, an, uh, has a prologue right there, two pushes and two ends. And then its epilogue is one no operation, then a pop, then another pop, then a return. All right, there wasn't much going on there, just two functions being set up and, and basically executed. Um, what happens if we want to do something useful like blinking an LED? Well, in this case, we do a setup in, in the Arduino IDE where we set the pin mode, in this case, pin 13, to be an output. Then we run a loop that turns the LED on and then off over and over again with some delays in between. So we have the prologue for the setup. You can see two pushes and two ins. Then we're setting the pin mode right here, which is a bunch of load immediates, um, LDI, and then a call to the pin mode function, which is not not actually shown right here. The pin mode function, which is called, um, isn't being displayed right here, but you can see on line 12 of the assembler that we are calling that function right there. Then the epilogue of the function, and then we move on to the next function, looping. All right, so then we have the prologue of that function, the two pushes and the two ins, then the call to the digital write function after a number of load immediates, LDIs, then your delay, which is another call to the delay function, then the call to the digital write function, then the delay, and then the epilogue right there. So we're going to talk about all of what's going on under the hood here, but it's important for you to know that you as well can explore what a C program or a C++ program or one of these other high level programs do when they get converted into um, into assembler and then from there you'll know better what's going on inside of your processor um, as we go and study different architectures like the uh, the Atmega 328. All right on to the next video. Mm -hmm.